So to use the toolkit accessory or attachment tool, starting from a clean scene. So for that, we want file new general, and that will create a new clean scene. Let's just do that. To access the tool, we want to click on the view menu, view sidebar. That gives us the sidebar and the toolkit tab. So click on that. And then for accessories, we want the attachment tool. So expand that and then click on the append attachment file. So this will give us a representation of the avatar's skeleton as a series of independent armatures. And these are so we can basically select a bone and get a sense of where we want the accessory to be which we then set as our bone root. And we do that by clicking the, well, we can do it two ways. We can either use the eyedropper or the drop-down list. Drop-down list is quite long and finding the appropriate bone can be quite tricky sometimes. So an easy way of doing that is to just use the eyedropper. So click on that, activate, and then mouse over and click on the armature that we want to use as the basis of our accessories. So click, it drops that into the input field and obviously we get the avatar appearing. So next we want to create our accessory, the actual mesh itself. So add, do a simple accessory item, mesh, cylinder, that's added one at the feet of the avatar. You can change its properties. Let's type 12. Let's change its size, 0.5. And its depth. Let's go with 0.5 again. So that's our cylinder. We don't want to cap the cylinder, so we can disable that if we want. So nothing. And that will remove the top and the bottom. So we don't have to do that. Minimize that. And let's just move this into position. So using our tools, do some basic editing, move, rotate, scale. So I'm just going to move this into position, rotate, let's orientate the scene around our object. So view, frame selected. Frame selected, that now means we're moving around our object, makes it easier to manipulate and position. Scale. That'll do. We now need to add a material to this. So select mesh and material properties. There should be one available for use. So click on the globe or the drop down list and there is material that we can use, one that already exists. That's the preview. Click to rename. Bracelet, square bracket, zero, close square brackets. What we need to do with this next is assign an image. So in shading workspace, there's our avatar. Going to add a texture node to our defaults. So add texture, image texture. Drop that in place going to open an image. So we need to browse to a file that we can use. This can be a temporary file. It doesn't really matter too much at the moment. So let's just use Beanie, Beanie PNG. Oh, we've got these colored ones. Let's use a colored one. Big bow. Open and then left click drag color to base color. And there is our UV mapped, which it already has by default. So that's UV map, so we don't have to worry about that too much. 
obviously if we were doing a custom item with a lot of editing we would change that back to layout mesh want to make sure smoothing is assigned so object shade smooth that'll just smooth it and then that is our mesh done our accessory so the next thing to do is we need to use the tools to set this up and export it for IMVU so let's just save this so file save as toolkit bracelet save as so two things to set this up we need to set up the bone relationship and then we need to set up the mesh so make sure the mesh is selected and then to set up the armatures click the align to bone button click that adds an armature to our mesh using the bone that we selected earlier as our reference point so that's step one step two select the mesh and we need to set up the mesh so what this does is it sets the mesh up let's go into object data properties and we'll see what happens we need a vertex group there isn't one by default so if we select the mesh and then click set up mesh it creates the necessary vertex group that we need for the accessory to work and that's it two steps so let's just save this and then we can export so for that instead of what we would normally do is file export fbx we don't need to do that anymore what we want to do is use the export tool so expand the options and just click on the export button click that and it'll export give us this little confirmation message at the bottom and that will be ready for import into studio so in studio we need to create a project we're using the male accessory if we had a female avatar we'd use the female accessory so select accessory select the base derivable derive that brings in our avatar and then we just import the file so click the import button import fbx because we're bringing in an fbx and not an xmf import fbx select the file toolkit bracelet open gives us a preview of what's in the file click set up fbx we can leave scale at 1.0 attachment root we've only got one skeleton that's good there is our mesh next there is our bracelet texture so it's found the texture next no animation preview that's what it's going to bring in import so that'll bring it in and it's probably defaulted to inside the avatar's head if it's not there all we need to do is go into component select the skeleton options make sure root node attachment that's highlighted and then in the node drop down box we want to select the bone so we had rt hand so we can either select it from the drop down list or type rt hand there is rt hand select preview and there is our bracelet obviously all we need to do then is double sided and that is our bracelet imported using IMVU Studios attachment or accessory tool
obviously all we then need to do is set up the product icon name and the other gubbings and then submit but that is an overview of using the tool by creating a simple bracelet project in blender <laughs>